name is Sheila Jacquabalta. I'm from the Mariana Islands. My name is Juanita Mosca Mendiola. I am Tamoru indigenous, born and raised on Tinian. My name is Dakota Kamatsu. I am from the clans of Egging and Te. So we're here today at the Making Waves conference in Tinahanya. Until recently when they started the development, uh, our exposure to the military was that periodic training period. And every time they come, it really disturbed me to no end that I can't go to the beach. If you want to catch EE, you can't go over to the beach where they hang out because it's blocked off. When I think about, you know, what they've tried to take away from us, They've tried to take us away from us. They've tried to take our families away from us. They've tried to take our languages away from us. Growing up, I remember the recruiters coming to my high school. I remember a lot of amazing, awesome stories about military members traveling and getting free education. As I got older, I learned that there was more to the story. We contributed in nuclear devastation. Making waves, this is a new uh, concept for me and I'm very grateful. It's the first time that I have felt that there is a true spiritual connection in pursuing the protection of Earth and our environment. The outcome of this conference is going to be a declaration. We're building a foundation so that we can clearly articulate our message and be heard in all these different spaces where the declaration will travel. And so this work is powerful leading into COP28. We have a youth delegate from our sister island of Guam going to represent the Mariana Islands. And this delegate is at our conference and we're helping our warriors prepare. We are in the center of climate change, so movement building is not important. Movement building is essential. We have to get closer. GGA and Climate Justice Alliance and all those groups have been paramount in, 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 in us having a voice. There is so many ways to achieve power and power can be achieved through being able to lead and with empathy and peacefully resolve conflict rather than going into war. This um, declaration, uh, it's also going to travel beyond COP28 and really just be a guiding post uh, for future generations to look back to, to know that we stood up for them in these times when so much is, is running against the future. My hope is that this declaration can be a part of our people remembering that that is true about us as well. That our language is sacred and that it came from the Creator. And that we have a responsibility to this land. And that responsibility is ours. And nothing can ever take that away.